Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Belletta Bologna Espresso Machine. This is a unique dual boiler coffee machine that doesn't use any copper or aluminium in the design. So the water only passes from an external glass water tank, spends a brief moment through a plastic tube and straight into one of the two insulated stainless steel boilers. And this alone is a great feature on the Bologna. Then go ahead and add PID temperature control of each of those boilers with time automatic brewing at the group head and you soon have a machine that offers a lot of quality espresso making factors within the one setup. Now, the Bologna comes in several different colors, including the chrome that you see here. And if you're looking to shop a new Bologna, you can from this link up above. Stay with me now though, as we run through the machine specs and brew an espresso on the Belletta Bologna. First, to take a look at the dimensions of this capable machine, the Bologna stands at 51 centimeters high, is 27 centimeters wide, and 30 centimeters deep on the bench. Now, you won't have any issues having to save on headspace above the machine to access the water tank, as it uses an external water tank made from glass with a capacity of two liters. This plugs straight into the back of the Bologna and can also be plumbed into the mains water supply through this same point. And as unusual as an external water tank is, it comes with some obvious benefits, like knowing when you need to fill your coffee machine up with water. It's relatively easy to fill up and then straightforward to clean this container, but be sure you're not just filling it up straight from the tap. As convenient as this might be, filter water is always recommended with use in espresso machines. And the water is pumped in by a very silent vibratory pump, and you have a 500 mil brew boiler and a one liter steam boiler, both made from stainless steel and with the heat up times on the Bologna being really fast at under eight minutes to reach a brewing temperature, I'd always recommend just flushing that group head once before using it to bring some more heat into that group head if you were looking to brew from the machine as soon as possible. Now, the accessories you receive with the Bologna are a double and single spouted porta filter, standard size seven gram single and 16 gram double filter baskets, and something I think every espresso machine manufacturer should get on board with is including a solid metal tamp. These Belletza ones are great, and you also get a blind filter and a group head scrubbing brush in the box. So moving down to the front of the machine now, starting from left to right, we have our control board, and this is where we turn the machine on. Then in pressing the set button, this is where we control the pre-infusion time of our brewing. Its default is set at two seconds, but can go all the way up to 10 seconds. Press set again, and you'll find the PID boiler temperature settings. Default for the steam boiler is 125 degrees Celsius and 93 for your brew water. But I prefer to run things a touch hotter on both of these, so I go for 130 and 94 respectively. Press set again though, and you'll find your eco modes. And this will manage your auto off settings on the machine when it's left unattended. Moving across to our four control switches, we have one for hot water and three brew buttons. Now, the cool thing is about the hot water button and those two middle brew buttons are that they are all time programmable buttons, with this last one being a stop start manual brew button. But what this means for the time programmable buttons, take the hot water tap for instance, now you can set how long it will dispense for in order to get that same amount into your cup every time and then it will turn off automatically. So after pressing the set button, you can increase or decrease the time in seconds to calculate that perfect amount of hot water you need to fill your cup. What this means for those two middle brew buttons is whilst their defaults are set at 25 seconds and their shots will stop after that, you can change these brew times to whatever you like. And for practicality, I would set one of these buttons for 20 seconds, which is a good all round double ristretto time, and then the other to around 30 seconds which is usually pushing my most extended brew time on a double espresso. As I'm usually aiming for a 40 gram espresso out in 27 to 30 seconds. So the machine will stop automatically when it reaches 30 seconds, but not if you've already reached your desired volume in espresso. So if you're weighing your shots out every day, then perhaps it isn't that exciting, but I could be wrong too. If you're weighing your dose out already and you've got your grind pretty well sorted out and this doesn't change all that much, then neither will the volume of your espresso either within that time frame to within a couple of grams. 
And truthfully, I love the convenience factor of pressing that button once without having to watch any scales, knowing it's still going to brew a decent cup of espresso and then turn off automatically. For those not weighing their espressos out every day, then there are loads to gain from with consistency and then dialing in a tasty coffee becomes that much easier. Rounding off the brewing on the Belletza Bologna is a brew pressure gauge for watching that pressure rise in the shot from pre-infusion all the way up to nine bars. And if you're not into auto brewing, then there's a shot timer to keep an eye on your brew time in that control panel. Now the last piece to this machine's capabilities is the cool to touch steam wand and the steam tap or rather a bit of a barista favorite not commonly seen on home espresso machines, the steam lever. Now the Bologna manual says you use this to regulate the steam output, but truthfully there's no regulating about it. It's on or off with very impressive powerful steam. Electronically controlled, you pull the lever, hear a beep, and then it's go time. It's fantastic. I think it's strong, it's fast and effective steam, and it produces silky textured microphone milk for your drinks time and time again using a three hole steam tip. And to cover off on those last little details on the machine, we have a generous cup tray up top, benefiting from the dual boilers to passively keep all your cups nice and warm. The lights around the control switches will dance when the machine is heating up and light up individually when pressed. The Bologna also comes with a silicon group head seal, which for the majority of espresso machines is an aftermarket part that's always recommended over the rubber seals, as these can become hard and crack all too quickly, whereas silicon lasts longer and performs better. And you also get a good sized drip tray that's straightforward to remove when full and easy to keep clean. And that's the Belletta Bologna espresso machine for you. Not your average looking coffee machine with the external water tank and the lever steam arm, but certainly an above average package with dual PID boilers, programmable pre-infusion and timed brewing controls. The Bologna is packed full of value for quality and performance. So if you have any questions on the Bologna, add them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon and the subscribe button on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.